The difference between those who succeed and those who don't are talkers and doers. I'm going to talk about that more in a moment. I'm Tyrone Bowman. This is Tyrone Bowman Tonight. Before I get started, a couple of things. Are you a, uh, a budding recording artist, singer, dancer, writer, poet, choreographer? If you're involved in any of the arts and you are an independent artist and you're having a problem being interviewed, talking about what you're doing, contact me at btyrone143 at yahoo.com. That's btyrone443 at yahoo.com. And if no one else is willing to sit down with you and talk with you and interview you, I'll be glad to do it without cost or without obligation. Give me a hit. Hit me up through my email, btyrone443 at yahoo.com. Also, while you're passing through, if you're viewing this particular uh, teaching that I'm going to be talking about, hit the like button for me. And if you don't mind, subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family members, tell your associates, yes, and even tell your enemies. Subscribe to Tyrone Bowman tonight. Do you have a prophetic call in your life? Are you an individual who believes that you have a spiritual gift for prophecy and you need to be able to have an atmosphere where you can quote unquote flow? Well, there's a school established called, it's called Higher Dimensions School for the Prophets and they would love to hear from you. Simply go to their email, I mean, go to their website at www.schoolfortheprophets.com. That's triple W dot school for the prophets dot com and once you get there take a few moments and uh, send them your email address and someone will get back to you that is triple w dot school for the prophets dot com now for tonight's topic of discussion don't talk about it be about it don't talk about it be about it the difference between those who succeed and those who fail are the doers and the talkers. The talkers are always talking about what they're going to do, but they never get it done. Because they're great at talking, they have the gift to gab. And gabby gifted people or individuals, they're always talking about everything, every subject that they think they know about. And when you really begin to know them, get to know them rather, you find out they're not that as knowledge, they're not that knowledgeable as they appear to be. So don't be a gabby gifted individual. Don't be an individual who's always talking about what they're going to do and never getting it done. Don't talk about it, be about it. The world is filled with individuals who never talked about what they were doing. What did they do? They went about the constructive way of building, achieving. Success, happiness, prosperity, love, joy, and etc. Money. These things don't just happen. Wishful thinking will not get it done. I said wishful thinking will not get it done. You can be what you want to be. You can do what you want to do. Yes, and you can have what you want to have. Health, happiness, success, prosperity, love, joy, and money. These things don't just happen. You have to work at them. If there's something that you desire to be, to do, and to have, put in the time. Take the effort to get it done. So, as I've told you before, this is an inspirational teaching and motivational program. I'm here to teach through inspirational, motivational, selective passages of Scripture along with uh, inspirational things that I've read down through the years, and the time has come to share this reservoir of wealth with others. When you change your mind, you'll change your way of thinking. When you change your way of thinking, you'll begin to change who you are. You can succeed. You can excel. You can soar. You can rise above it all. So since this is the designated month set aside for black history, I thought I'd start it off and on tomorrow, I'm going to talk about the founder of the uh, Black History Month, Dr. Carter G. Woodson. I'll be talking about him 
on the next episode of Tyrone Bowman tonight. But for this evening, yes, do for self. Yes, take out the time to become self-motivated, self-inspired, self-inspired. There's no reason why that you should not be able to succeed. There's no reason why that you should not be able to succeed. You may have to start your life over. You may have to get rid of individuals who mean you no good. Do nothing thinking, negative speaking, acting people will always find a way to tear you down. And when you want to succeed, when you want to excel, when you want to prosper, when you want to go forward in life, you have to make up in your mind and purpose in your heart that you're going to get out of an atmosphere that is destructive for you and get into the atmosphere of wealth, the atmosphere of health, the atmosphere of prosperity, the atmosphere of joy, the atmosphere of, of success, the atmosphere of forgiveness. Yes, and these are atmospheres. And where do they exist? In our minds. Your mind is a powerful, divinely creative computer. Decompartmentalize so that you and I can succeed on every level. Check this out. Came across some things that were interesting. There are three passages of scripture that I'm going to share in this lesson. And pay close attention to, to how I read them. Because they can make or break your circumstances. Yes, I said they can make or break your circumstances. In the book of Proverbs, the sixth chapter, verses six through 11, and I quote. Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and they want as an armed man. That's powerful. Did you hear me? I said, that is powerful. Let me read this again from the New World Translation of Holy Scriptures. Now, you may agree with this translation or disagree. But for purposes of clarity, I would like to have it spoken in plain, everyday English that all of us can understand. The book of Proverbs, the sixth chapter, or chapter six, whichever way you decide to say it, and I'm going to start reading at the sixth verse. And I quote, Go to the ant, you lazy one. Observe its ways and become wise. Although it has no commander, officer, or ruler, although it has no command, commander, officer, or ruler, it prepares its food in the summer, and it gathers its food, supplies in the harvest. It gathers its food supplies in the harvest. How long, you lazy one, will you listen? Will you lie there? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumbering, a little folding of the hands to rest, and your poverty will come like a bandit. If you want to be poor and impoverished, just don't do anything. I know a lot of people like that, always complaining, always whining, always crying, always talking about what they don't have. They're always envious and bitter against those who succeed. Listen, successful, wealthy men and women from all walks of life 
whether they got their riches the right way or the wrong way, they're still ambitious about what they have done or are doing. My assignment as an inspirational, motivational teacher, it is to explore things, learn things, analyze things, and probe the mind, awaking individuals. You know what some of you need? You need your brain cleaned out. You need it washed. You ever heard the term called brainwashing? Some people need their brain washed. Why? Uh, from all the filth, the trash, the garbage, the perversion, the doubt, fear, unbelief, things that mean nothing, they're meaningless, and have it replaced with self-motivating, inspirational, positive thoughts. And you'll find out that when you get a clean, sober mind, you can begin to excel in life. Also in the book of Proverbs, the 30th chapter, the 24th verse throughout the 28th verse, and I found this to be interesting as well. Listen up, my Christian brothers and sisters, my Muslim brothers and sisters, individuals from all walks of life. When you become self-motivated and self-inspired and determined, you're going to succeed. Now, let me read this here. This is, this is pretty interesting as well. And I quote from the 24th verse of the book of Proverbs. There be four things which are little upon the earth, but they are exceeding wise. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their meat in the summer. The coonies are but a feeble folk, yet make their houses in the rocks. The locusts have no king, yet they go forth all of them by bands. The spider taketh hold with her hands and is in king's palaces. Well, now, is that heavy or what? I think that's pretty heavy. Let's read it from another translation. Once again, reading from the New World Translation of Holy Scriptures, the 30th chapter of the book of Proverbs, and beginning with the 24th verse. Four things on the earth are among the smallest, but they are instinctively wise. The ants are not strong creatures, yet they prepare their food in the summer. The rock badgers are not mighty creatures, yet they make their house in the, the crags. The locusts have no king, yet they go forward in formation. The gecko lizard clings with its feet, and it goes into the palace of a king. Last but not least, people talk about, oh, I have faith, I have faith, really? Well, Check this out. And this is vitally important. What are you doing with the faith that you have? Make it work for you. In the book of James, the second chapter, the 14th verse puts it this way. The second chapter in the 14th verse says this. What doeth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith, and have not works, can faith save him? Look at the 17th verse. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead being alone. Yea, or yes, a man may say, thou hast or have faith, and I have works. Show me thy works without faith. And I will show you my work. And I will show thee my faith by my works. Show individuals your faith by putting your faith in action. By going forward and utilizing it to the best of your ability. It will work for you if you work it. Don't listen. Don't talk about it. Be about it. 
Too many individuals are always talking about what they're going to do, boast and brag, and I have this, I have that. And then when you really get to know them, that's like the, the person, a brother who has a beautiful, shiny car. This is my BMW. This is my Mercedes. You know, they mm, mm, mm. always talking about what they have, yet they're living in their mother's basement. They don't own the car. They're not even leasing it. They have balloon inflated car payments. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Be about becoming successful. Be about coming out of poverty. Be about coming out of debt. Be about reconstructing and organizing your life. Be about finding self-motivating positive mentors and mentorees that you can look up to and begin to emulate and even imitate them. Be about the business of your business and don't allow your works without faith to become your hashtag. Hashtag, I do nothing but talk all day long. As I told you in the beginning of this, I know a lot of people, all they do is talk 24 hours a day. That's all they do. They're always bragging. They're always talking. They're always boasting. They're always pontificating or telling lies about who they are and what they are. Health, happiness, success, prosperity, love, joy, and money can be yours, but you have to be about it. Never surrender. Never quit.